Yeah, hello. Polinski, yeah. Dean Hoagland. Femmer Remy. Andy Oliveira. Christine. Smart from Max Cavalera. Del Jeff. Will Ramos. Sobre la dosis. 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 Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. With Jonathan Montenegro. Let's go! Better be listening because I know where you live. Hey, Jonathan Montenegro. How's it going? Sebastian Bach. That's me. What's happening? Uh, how you doing, man? Everybody out there, happy holidays. Hope you're having a good holiday season. Um, here to answer a couple questions for Jonathan. Question number one, what do you miss about the music industry of the late 80s and early 90s? Well, I would say what I miss about the music industry is the music industry. <laughs> there really isn't one anymore. It's more based on social media, uh, I don't know what, um, uh, what do I miss about then in the music industry? Um, well, you know, back then we used to have to go to a record store, spend a couple hours, like choosing what music you wanted to buy. Uh, nowadays you could just press a button and get every song recorded by man. So it was much more invested. Um, also, not just anybody was making records in the 80s. Uh, you had to get a record contract and you had to prove that you were worthy of making records. There was no such thing as Pro Tools to uh, adjust your performance in the studio. It was a much more uh, organic, realistic way of recording then because uh, we just didn't have the technology that we have now. Uh, two other things I miss um, is rock videos on television. Uh, MTV used to be so much fun uh, doing dial MTV, everybody voting for their favorite videos of the day and then seeing who won um, at the end of the day on dial MTV. That was so much fun. The other thing I miss is radio. Um, Rock radio these days to me is just like one station. Uh, in the 80s, each city had its own distinctive radio station uh, with personalities and uh, specific DJs. And they would play more what they wanted instead of just like a national playlist. It really is pointless to me. All right, question number two. If you have the opportunity to go to the past, Will you do it to live moments of glory again or to repair a mistake? No, I'm going to live moments of glory again in the future. Okay, I'm not allowed to explain what I'm doing, but get ready because here it comes. Um, I don't think that anybody can deny that if you were in a band in the 80s, you were living moments of glory a lot more frequently than in 2022. Uh, I don't think anybody can deny that. Um, so all I can tell you is I'm just getting warmed up. You know, if you can go see Pantera with only Phil Anselmo in the band and call it Pantera, you could come see Sebastian Bach and I'm the only one in the band from Skid Row. So what's the difference? Okay. Anyways, number three. Is there any style of music which you don't like? I don't like uh, the way music these days is mastered. I don't like the way record sound these days that is made from digital. Uh, I can easily tell when I put a vinyl record on at my house, what era it's from, because the 70s albums um, are so big sounding. They're not compressed, they're not little, they're huge uh, soundscapes. And uh, I just, um, I can't really tell you <laughs> what I want to tell you right now, but I will be able to soon. 
Anyways, that's the kind of music I like, is uh, albums that were made in the 70s, that were mastered in the 70s without compression and without MP3. Um, I'm more into the pure analog sound of old vinyl records. And wouldn't it be great if I could release a record like that someday? All right, thank you, Jonathan, everybody out there. Merry Christmas, rock on. Hope to see you soon on the road.